change. So I'll give two examples. So one is that uh, people eat too much meat, right? And if they were to cut down on their consumption on meat, then they would, uh, it would actually really help the planet. Uh, but people are not willing to give up meat. Yeah, you know, some people will be willing to, but other people, they may be willing to, but they sort of, they have a weakness of will. They say, wow, this, this steak is just too juicy. I can't do it. I, I'm one of those, by the way. So, you know, but so here's the thought, right? So it turns out that we know a lot about, so there, we have these intolerance to, uh, so I, for example, I have milk intolerance. Um, uh, and there, some people are intolerant to crayfish. So possibly we can use hu human engineering to make it the case that we're intolerant to certain kinds of meat, to certain kinds of bovine, uh, bovine proteins. And there's actually analogs of this in life. There's this thing called the long star tick, where if it bites you, you will become allergic to meat. Uh, I can sort of describe the mechanism. So that's something that we can do through human engineering. We can kind of uh, ad possibly address really big world problems through human engineering. Another